Hi and thank you for having a look at this video. Today I'm going to show you a little thing that I found while scrolling through the Flight Gear Wiki earlier. Uh, it's only been about 15 years I've been using Flight Gear and I've never really given any of the add-ons a go before. Uh, so I was pretty surprised when I found uh, this page earlier which conveniently lists all of them and I thought I'd give some a go um, on one I thought a lot of people might particularly find interesting is this one, the ground services which adds, um, as it says here, adds generic ground services at any airport uh, where there's a, a ground net for it to, to look at which is quite a list, uh, so you get moving ground service vehicles um, and also the ability for them to move up to the aircraft position themselves at the door etc um, and it works really well and it's quite easy to install but considering I'd never found it before I thought I'd make a little video just to show people where you can find it uh, and, and how you install it nice and easy to grab uh, first of all you just go to the github here and grab it as a download um, and there's also a handy list here of all the airports with the, the ground nets already that are laid or using out of the box if you wanted to I'm sure you could create a ground net for any airport you're particularly interested in but it's not a, not an inconclusive list there's a, a reasonable chunk there just to get things up and going so once you've downloaded it it's quite nice and, and simple to install. Um, the, the file itself is just a zip file and uh, it's got the structure in there that you need already. So all I've done here is create an add-ons folder which you can create anywhere on your PC. Uh, be it a uh, main drive or, or a secondary drive that you keep your files on, it doesn't seem to care doesn't even matter what the folder's called, uh, it'll take it out of out of this one, so just drop it somewhere on your PC that you're going to remember. I've just put it in a flight gear folder that I've got, which is full of junk, but I've created one called add-ons, so we're all a little bit more organised than we might normally be. And as far as the install goes, that's really it. All you need to do then is fire up flight gear. And then, if you're using one of the more recent versions, the 2020 versions, you should get a launcher that looks roughly like this. Uh, I am on uh, Linux and using one of the standard app image builds. Yours might look slightly different, but you should have the same launcher options, regardless of whether you're on Windows or Mac or whatever. If you're running an earlier launcher, there's different ways. But basically, you need to find the add-on section. And here you can see it gives you the option for add-on modules. And if I just remove this to show you how it's done, all you need to do here is you need to go to add and then find the folder on your PC where you've put that. And uh, you need to select the folder, so the folder here got called ground services. You need to actually choose that particular folder, not the folder above it and then you'll see that it actually pulls the information out of it if it's all worked properly and you'll you'll see the description there which will let you know that it's all in working fine then choose somewhere uh, that is in this this little list oh well, you don't have to but it's not going to work so choose somewhere in that list unless you've created your own ground net for an airport somewhere and uh, then we can hit fly, and while my flight gear crunches into life on my incredibly old PC, um, talk a little bit about what you get. So you get a new GUI option in the menu, um, which allows you to select various different uh, vehicles. You also get the option to see the ground vehicles on a map. And most of all, I think personally for me, the best thing about it is you just get some moving ground vehicles around an airport. Um, it's not intrusive 
uh, it's done quite well and it's generic enough that you can just leave it on I'm going to be leaving it on now uh, and it gives you a a little bit more of a, a airport environment which is probably more what you'd expect to see so now my flight gear has decided to start to uh, come to life I'll give it a second to wake up I've got the winter textures on here because it's the last day of December and I wanted to feel a little bit wintry despite the fact that if I look outside my window it's all sunny and there's no snow absolutely anywhere but that doesn't matter I still want to pretend I've not chosen the best parking spot here but if we have a, a look round um, we'll in a few minutes because the way it works is once you're within three nautical miles of a known ground net you'll see my scenery popping in here yes my PC is very old but it still works um, <coughs> you'll see that uh, the vehicle start to appear once you're within three nautical miles you will uh, get these loading once you go more than three nautical miles from the ground net so once you've taken off you're not going to see ground vehicles um, chewing up your frame rates not that I could have much more frame rates chewed up but we've got the AI aircraft uh, that are going around and you might be able to see in the background just to the left of the tower there London Gatwick, so you can see the, the air bridge over there. But there's ground vehicles now moving around the airport, and these will continue to load in. The longer you're here, um, the more you'll you'll see them start to move around. Now, you will notice up in the top menu. I've left the top menu up here for you. Uh, you've got a GS option see these other ground vehicles over here you get two very simple options one of which is main which gives you the option should you want to launch an additional ground vehicle uh, it also gives you the choice if you want to select one of the AI aircraft you can have a service go up to them go up to their doors uh, or whatever I won't do that on this particular A330 has got its own ground vehicle options which work a lot better um, but there are some auto service options here and you can just close this out when you've finished go back to it if you want to have a quick look at the map it'll open a, a nice canvas map here which will show you on it the position of the ground vehicles as they're moving around the airport your PC is better than mine it will be an awful lot smoother um, also gives you a nice representation of the the ground net that you've got there so you can understand a little bit about the places I'll be moving around to um, which is pretty handy there's a few little funny things on there depending on how good the ground net is um, it, it can't do its own interpretation of it it can only found follow the ground net which is understandable so here I've seen at Gatwick a couple of times you will get catering trucks uh, making their way up and down the runway not the active runway but probably places they wouldn't realistically go in real life uh, just like some of these little bits uh, in flight gear don't quite always line up unless um, they're specifically customised. I've got the Project 2000 uh, bits and bobs on here, which are why there is boxes encroaching on the parking area and a bus uh, behind my engine here. But I think it'll great actually just sitting here and and looking at the ramp, having more things move around. It does genuinely look good. Uh, and to be honest, I wish I'd found it an, an awful lot sooner than I did. So that's all there is to it. If you want to uninstall it, all you have to do is delete the folder, um, both uh, from the launcher, where we just added it a minute ago, and delete the, the folder from the file tree, and that's it. It's gone. There's nothing further to, to add to that. And um, there's a really interesting truck, which was just 
flying around the tower up there. I'm going to have to go back and look at that. But uh, apart from that, it seems to work pretty well. Give it a go. Let me know what you think. Um, and hopefully it will continue to be developed and we'll see more of this kind of stuff going for Flightgear. Thank you very much for watching.